Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, it's been, what, a day or so since I played it last? I don't know. Um, let's, let's talk to this dude. We got uh, a lot of stuff to do. This is pretty much going to be like a side quest episode as far as I'm aware. Might be two episodes. Uh-oh. Now it's working. There we go. I don't want that armor. I'll have to go around and get stuff for that. But we got a lot of side quests for the home to do. Unless we can just go to the map table up here and continue with the main story. Because if possible, I would rather do that right now. I want to see the Alliance map. Okay, so I can continue. I can do anything that doesn't have a raven on it. Power level 90. Power level 90. 55. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. Hmm, I shall. I will make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnia myself. A good plan. All right. So when I don't have main quests, I could just come here and get main quests. That's good. So I don't have to do any of the side stuff right now. I could probably do that later. East Anglia. Good thing I already just ran around and decided to get all the fast travel points in, you know, these earlier areas. I mean, by the time I get this done, what am I now level wise? 73. Jeez. Woo. Woo. Hold on. You can't just throw that on me and not expect me to look at it. Ah, okay. But yeah, I'm 73 right now. By the time I'm done with this, hopefully I'll be around 90. Let's see. It seems to be up here that we need to go. Oh. What's happening? Finir? <sighs> no, not unless Halfton sent you. Let's pretend Halfton did send me. Then we pretend you're Finir, his steward of East Anglia. Right. How do you expect to find a king for this kingdom when this is the speed you work at? <sighs> I found him already, and as soon as he's married, we'll plunk his ass down on that throne. Which man? Ugh. You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswo 
Harold of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he still lost Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity? But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. The settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. Oh boy. East Anglia art started. Okay, so now, what, we gotta... I, I better fill up my ration thing, actually. Now that I realize that I don't have really very much rations on me. So we're trying to put a king in this area and get him married, apparently. That's what I'm getting at. Oh, I got fast travel for the dock. Ah, over there. Gotcha. Oh, I'm assuming he's by this big ass crowd of people. Like wolves, killing and burning as they I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by whom, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dane or Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king... I'll set things right. You will be king when I'm a flying troll. Hmm. A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king, so I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes, for as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Hafton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenhelm? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the hold up? The hold up? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Hmm. So I gotta get the brothers' approval. All of them, apparently in order to have them get married so he can be king and we can unite in peace and harmony and whatnot until I decide to go raiding. <laughs> Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. The smoke ahead. That's beat me. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. Oh. Maybe. Attack on sight. Oh, I rolled right into that. Oh, damn, he just hit me with the shield. Well, they're gonna get it. 
Oh man, that stomp absolutely crushed that man. Okay, there's more up here. Oh, I don't think he can take me. That should be the last of these big faced cards. Oswald will be relieved to know this. Hmm. Where's the key at? It looks over here. And I found an opal. Wow. All right, I guess let's return to Oswald because we looted everything we can here that I know of. Ruid's clan, they left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. Of course. I'd be happy to join you. I would join never pass up free food. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. All right, so I guess I'm going all this way to this objective to go to dinner. I assume this is the other kingdom where he wants to marry. A healthy seeming town. As Oswald has done well for himself. There. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Uh, be kind, yeah? As Christ would command. Yeah, be nice. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I asked you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Finir, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broder. And to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty ass. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, wolf -kissed? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned with the throne. It's made of less wood than uh, this one. It'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. Damn! Wolf kiss, or you'll find it freed of your face! So easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your flaccid ego. My flaccid what? Please stop this! You heard me. That's it! Oh, buddy. Quit dodging me, damn it. Ridiculous. Absurd. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ow. <laughs> I thought I thought I could dodge. My alarm was going off. This is not how we settle the feuds in East Anglia. Whoop. Brother, stop this wall and both your horses. I'm whooping the shit out of them. Stop! All of you! That's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. 
You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. I shall bring her. Well, that's me done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. That's what I need. All right, two skill points. Whoa, two Can more skill points. And wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Eivor, good to see you. Thank you. Find and speak to Oswald. Oh, I don't recall my bird having a uh, thing on it. A little circle. That's new. I'm trying to speak to him. Good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed a dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnear the Hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, I'm glad to you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, so that's how that works. He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winter's our season. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your... Head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> Oswald, my boy, you're useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. 
<laughs> Get him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. When you crawled from the wound, you were ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finnir. I challenge you to a home gang. You don't a what? need that, Oswald. That's a fight to settle disputes, no? A home gang. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out then. <laughs> Too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finnir wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is. That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river near Sea Henge. The water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. <laughs> not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Oh god, he is so fucked. I don't think I'm actually gonna kill him, but it's pretty funny.